Hi, welcome to Muskrat Gulch, where we care about the proper use of the English language. Today we're going to talk about a word, and the word of the day is justifiable. Now, there probably aren't more than three or four men in the entire world that care that justifiable is an adjective, and it means to be right or reasonable. To be right or reasonable. Let me try to put it in a sentence that we can all understand. In fact, I can use it in a sentence that was spoken to me while I was standing at Cabela's the other day. I was standing there minding my own business, and these words were spoken to me. You own a 25-year-old igloo cooler that probably didn't cost $15 brand new, and it still works. So there is no justifiable reason for you to own an $800 Yeti cooler. There's the sentence. Justifiable use in a proper sentence. Spoken with enthusiasm, I might say. Now, if the person who spoke that to me was home right now, I probably wouldn't be saying this, but I could have said, um, there is no justifiable reason to own an $800 coat rack that you keep in the living room. But she does. So, I can't have my Yeti cooler. All I got is nickel. Let me get rid of this. What we're going to do is turn this 20 year old cooler into a super cooler. And it's not that hard, and it's going to look good too. So here we are in the basement, probably asking yourself, why isn't he up in the living room like he was earlier? Well, this could turn into a life lesson for you. There is absolutely no reason why you should be afraid of a woman. Absolutely none. You should, however, early in life develop a healthy respect for grizzly bears. Let me give you an example. Last Halloween, I thought it would be a good idea to put the pit bull up on the kitchen table and stuff her inside a Wonder Woman costume that was made for a three-year-old child. Um, it was right after that that a new rule was developed in this house. And the new rule goes something like, um, ideas that are not well thought out, messy, and just plain stupid, with the potential to break things, must be moved out of the house, into the yard, the shed, or, on a bad day, into the basement. And the person who came up with that rule is also the one that can arbitrarily change it, without notice, and sometimes even change it after an event has taken place. And today we're going to use spray foam insulation, which has the potential to be messy, to say the least. So, we have moved to the basement. Because when you develop a respect for grizzly bears, you learn that you don't poke the bear. So. This gonna work? We'll find out. It's already coming up here. Uh, 
I have these glued down. I hope. Okay, I want this to look good when I'm done. That's This isn't going to be a, a hillbilly thing, I hope. So what I've done is I've masked off the top one inch of the inside here, and I've masked off where the handles go because I don't want foam to get in there. And the edges were masked off because I want to keep the edges clean. So I've got my styrofoam in there. Um, so let's just see what happens. There we go. So now, May Blue, got to get it centered as best we can. Now, what I'm going to do is stick a piece of firewood in there. You know what? I'm going to stick two in. Just to stop it from moving around. So I'm going to finish filling this up and I'll be right back. Okay, here's where we are right now. Yesterday, after I turned the camera off, I finished filling it with, um, with the spray foam insulation. Then it took 24 hours for it to cure. Now it came up above the top of the uh, cooler. Um, I had a uh, piece of firewood laying on top of the, the cooler to keep the lid down. I hope it did enough. If not, we can trim it. I'm not worried about it. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is trim away all the stuff that's on the top. Uh, remember, I put tape around the edge of the uh, tote so that it wouldn't stick to the tote itself. So I'm going to start cutting away the, the foam. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the cooler is done now. It would work fine just the way it is. But what I'm going to do uh, today, right now, is I'm going to take some uh, uh, latex caulk and seal the foam. Um, th there's going to be water and, and stuff in here, so I want to seal this, and the best way to do that in my view, is with the foam. I thought about using um, Flex Seal, but that stuff eats foam, so that was out. So I'm going to um, put the caulking down. I've got it masked off, so I'm not going to get any on the, uh, on the black tote. And I'm going to do that now, uh, and we'll see how that turns out. You notice I'm... I'm back in the uh, um, living room. That's not because uh, I'm overly confident that we won't make a mess. I think probably we will. But I think we can mitigate the mess to a point where we don't have to worry about grizzly bears. We shall see. What I'm going to do here is spread the caulking out, and then uh, smooth it out with a paint scraper. Okay, here's my cooler. The uh, spray foam insulation has uh, cured. I sealed it with uh, silicone caulking to make it waterproof. That's it. Um, here we have a, a Yeti cooler that sells for $500 in Canada. Now it says on it that it keeps ice longer, and that's going to be the real test. I had intended to use uh, digital thermometers in both, but to keep, I want to keep the two coolers together when we do this test to keep things even. Um, and when you put two of these side by side like this, um, they interfere with each other. We couldn't get an accurate reading 
on the two um, thermometers. With them both being in the house, I'll tell you what we did, ended up doing. We took one of these, both of them were turned on, plus we have our own in the house. Uh, both the thermometers were turned on and we weren't getting a good reading, so to check on it, we took one of the thermometers and put it in the freezer. Uh, and this never got below five degrees Celsius. Um, obviously the freezer is colder than that. When I took it out of the freezer three days later, I set it next to the stove when the stove was turned on and it only came up to, uh, or went down rather to four degrees. So it was five degrees in the freezer and four degrees next to a stove that was turned on. Um, when you have more than one of these, apparently, in the house, they interfere with each other, so we can't use that. So we're going to do an ice test. Yeti says right on it that it keeps ice longer, and that's going to be the test. Um, the inside of the coolers are almost identical in size. I think mine probably has a little more insulation. The total cost of mine was $80, $81. So this is about a $500 cooler in Canada. It says it's bear proof. Well, let's take a look at that. If you look right here, if you look at that right there, it says it's bear proof, but this wasn't done by a bear. This damage has nothing to do with a bear. This was done by a... Hello, Newman. What we're going to do is use a simple kitchen clock. I'm going to put a bag of ice in each one. It is... 4.37 p.m. on Friday, November 20th. So we're going to take it from here. So I'll dump the, uh, I'll dump the ice in it. Okay, there we go. So, where's my claw? Let's say it is 440. It's 439. 439 Friday, November 20th. And we'll see which one really does keep the ice longer. We'll be back. Okay. In order to make this fair test, we decided to take a Rubbermaid cooler. Uh, it's not new, it's probably seven or eight years old. Um, we're gonna do exactly the same thing with this that we did with the Yeti and with our homemade one. So I'm gonna dump a bag of ice in it. This is the same size ice that, that we had with the others. Okay, it is 5.41 p.m. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's got to be a fair comparison across the board. It's in the same room. Uh, we'll see what happens.
Okay, here we are. Um, I checked this a little while ago. There's very little ice left in it. We're at um, 15 hours and 45 minutes or so. Um, I'll see what there is. I feel it. Okay. That's that's the ice that's left in the rubber made. I don't I don't feel anything else. Water's plenty cold to tell you that. Um so there's the time. It went in at 540 last night. I mean at 540 last night and uh it is almost 11.30 a.m. now. So 15 hours, um, that's the best that the Rubbermaid did. It's same conditions, they're in the same room. Uh, we bought the ice at the same place. Uh, it was fair across the board. That's what Rubbermaid did. Now we'll go look and see what, what, uh, what the Yeti and what ours did. Okay, last night we checked it at 24 hours and there was maybe a third of a bag of ice in each one. They were pretty even at that point. Now it's 8.40, close to 8.40 in the morning, which is 36 hours. Um, I don't think either one of them are going to last 48 hours, so we're going to check it now. So I'm going to open up the... the uh, I'll get the, this out of the way. I'm going to open up the two... Coolers now, and we'll see what's in here. Teresa, can you bring the camera over? Don't knock over the light. Can you see in there? I can. Okay. We have two ice cubes left. Two small uh, ice little, cubes left. I mean, little chips. Not much left. How does survive? I don't know. But there we are with that. Okay. So right now, it looks like Yeti has two small ones. What do we got here? Anything? Oh, look! There we go! There we go! Right there! Jeez! Wow. That's it! So, Yeti has two small pieces and ours has one. So, obviously, Yeti wins. Okay. Mm, Let's squeaked by. Squeaked by. I'm gonna say that it might it might have an hour left in it. So so we're gonna say Yeti wins. So five hundred dollars for Yeti, eighty one dollars for ours. But the Yeti lasts about an hour longer than ours did. So there's the 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 rub. Is it worth $420 for an extra hour? What are you doing? $420 for an hour. Wow. And it says Yeti and it's bear proof. It's prettier, but you know. Anyway. So what are you doing? Well, just a second. I present to you from Muskrat Gulch Sas Sasquatch. <laughs> so, okay, that looks good. Awesome. I'm happy with that. Yeah, cool. So, $500 for a Yeti that lasts one hour longer than our Sasquatch. So, so. What do we have? Do we go and splurge on a Yeti? Or do we stick with the Sasquatch? I think we'll stick with our Sasquatch. There you go. Muskrat Gulch Innovations gives you a Sasquatch cooler that uh, isn't quite as good by an hour as a Yeti. But we saved $420. Be honest. Four hundred nineteen dollars is what yeah. we say. So there you go. We'll be back. But for now, don't forget 
muskrat goes. Hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to watch for our next video. We'll be back. Next time. See you later.